is a loaded squat stretch. Now, the loaded squat stretch is a great move for anybody who currently doesn't have the mobility to squat. It's a great tool for people who are currently squatting but want to maintain and hold on to that squat pattern. And it's also a great tool for making you a better squatter. While there's loads of other moves out there, hip flexor stretches, glute stretches, that help open up the space to get into the squat, constantly accumulating this loaded squat makes you a better squatter too. It gets you so familiar with the bottom position, which is the most dangerous. It teaches you about what level of tension is required for a safe squat. And more importantly, like I said, it is a great tool for everybody, bearing in mind that it doesn't cause any pain. Getting started with the goblet squat, or sorry, the loaded squat stretch. It is all about picking whatever stance allows you to carry the move correctly. So for example, for some people, it may be a little bit narrow. For others, it may be a little bit wide. As long as the knees don't come in, as long as the foot arch doesn't collapse, you can pick whatever stance that allows you to start the move. Now, all we need really is any form of external device with a little bit of weight in it to act as a counterbalance. Now, the counterbalance comes in for those who really suffer with poor ankles. And when they're going to go down into the squat, they feel like they're falling back. If this is you, the whole idea of that counterbalance is to extend the weight. If you feel like you're falling back, you extend the weight, it's going to pull you forward, okay? Other than that, this can be done with anything. It can also be done off the doorknob, the side of your door, with a medicine ball or a kettlebell. Now, I'm going to demonstrate with the kettlebell. As I say, that's shoulder width stance, okay? Or whatever stance allows you to get started. Top position, everything top, abs braced. We're gonna drop as deep into the squat as we can without anything getting really ugly looking. Once we find that position, we're going to drive the knees out as wide as we can and we're gonna use that push to pull the chest up. And then we're gonna brace the core, continue to, before dropping the device, squatting up, or we can squat up with the device intact. So how this looks from the side. And in here. And that's the loaded squat stretch. Now common compensations, if you're doing this with a client, you're doing it yourself, you're training with your friend in the gym, what you're looking out for is it getting fucking bad shit, crazy ugly looking. Now what I mean by that? is you don't want a client or yourself dropping down into this position here and trying to fix something that looks like this. We want to raise it up to where they can pull the chest through or get the spine as flat as we can. For some people, there will still be a little round. As long as you try to pull through that and the intention is pulling through over time, you know, this here can translate into this here. And that's our loaded squat. 